What is going on guys? Gilly here and today I got a pack opening for you guys. Quick question before I get into this pack opening. I don't upload a lot of videos and or as much anymore. Once MLB 17 comes out, I'll be everyday MLB, but until MLB 17 comes out, I want to know for the days I don't upload, would you like a video uploaded then or only MLB? Because it wouldn't hurt regardless. It's either I won't upload a video and you don't get to watch a video, or I can upload a video of just random gameplay on a game. You guys will get to watch. Your choice. Today's Flashes of Greatness packs are four player cards, increased chance to find one of the three new flashbacks, including rookie mission starter Yoannis Cespedes. So there are three new flashbacks. I'll go over them in just a moment here. One is a rookie, Yoannis Cespedes, and there is a mission for that Yoannis Cespedes. I don't know it at the moment. You guys would probably find out if you get him. But once you do that mission, you lock him in, and you are able to get the 95 overall Yoannis Cespedes. One of the best cards in Diamond Dynasty. I don't use him a lot, but uh, he is a very, very good card to use. The Yoannis Cespedes is an 87 overall. Going for 7,500 coins, selling out 5,500. Looking at his stats, he still has that cannon of an arm, 98 arm strength, 70 speed, I believe is faster than his uh, prime card now. 51 vision, pretty low. His hitting sets are all right though. This card would be pretty good in BR, but I don't know. Most of his overall comes from his defense and speed he is a left fielder so it is easier to get a higher rating in left field but it's all good there's a new todd frazier flashback going for only a thousand stubs he's an 85 uh he has 68 speed which is pretty good he has a gold he can play third base first base for you hitting stats kind of low 54 vision does have that power with 80 versus righties 74 versus lefties this is one of those weird cards where a righty is better against a right-handed pitcher than left-handed. So, yeah, not really another good card to use because hitting stats are pretty poor. And there is a new Luis Gonzalez, 78 overall. Going for 380 stubs. Oh, man. <laughs> Why, like, these cards that we're getting aren't usable in the game at this point? Like, no, everyone that still plays this has, like, a diamond or high gold team. This is just not too good, especially for the packed values. Like, you're paying 3500 to four packs, and you're getting these cards. Like, not even worth it, unless we pull a diamond, which I haven't pulled a diamond in a couple months. So, pack opening is not even going to look like it will be good, but oh well. His hitting stats, 78 vision with 60s across the board besides power versus lefties at 39. Fielding at 77. Uh, 56 speed. He is a left fielder. No other secondary positions. Uh, yeah, another another crappy card. Anyways, uh, let's get into this pack opening. I do this for you guys. So if you guys want to open... If my packs are fire and you guys want to open up the packs, you can... If you were on the fence, I'll open them up first so you guys don't have to waste your money on these. But let's get it right into it. Eight packs. We're looking to get a lot of garbage. I thought four player cards. All right, so it's not guaranteed that you even get one of the flashbacks. Increased chance. All right, so it's not guaranteed. There's only an increased chance, chance which is all right. We do get the Todd Frazier right here, 85 overall, 1,000 stubs. Glad we spent 3,500 on these packs. So we've pulled one of the three cards. Oh, we do get the 78. Luis Gonzalez, that is two of the three. Now we are just waiting on the Ioannis Cespedes. And what do you know, three packs three flashbacks we do get the Yoannis Cespedes the only card worth more than these packs but I'll hold on to him just so I can do the mission get the other Yoannis and Salomon because I already have the prime one I already have 
most of the diamonds in this game. So any diamonds that I do pull are good for me because I can sell them on for extra stubs. We get another Luis Gonzalez looking great. We're down to our last two packs right here, though. Oh, man. We get 80 overall. Joe Smith. Thank you. Thank you. And the last pack. We get another UNSS, but as so we will sell them on. Uh, so, we spend around 28,000. I'm just going to say 28,000. You can do the math for me. And we got about 15K back. So, not too bad. I don't know how much UNSS is going for at the moment. His price has obviously dropped due to these rookie cards. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to see more of the series.